we are surrounded by sounds all the time. We can often identify a sound just by hearing and not really seeing the source. That is because sounds have certain characteristics. Before we understand the characteristics of sound, let's discuss the basics. All sounds are produced by vibrating bodies, be it music or noise. A vibrating object produces sound and when the vibration stops, the sound also stops. Remember that for vibrations to occur, energy is required. Each vibration creates one wave on an X and Y axis. This is how we represent a sound wave on an X and Y axis. Let's continue this to represent eight waves here. We will use this to understand certain key terms. Let's now understand the meaning of frequency, time period and amplitude of a wave. Frequency is the number of waves passing through a given point in one second. It is measured in hertz. The time taken by a vibrating body to complete one vibration is called the time period. It is measured in seconds. Amplitude is the magnitude of the wave, how high it goes on the y-axis. You will understand how amplitude and frequency contribute to the characteristics of sound. At the end of this module, you will be able to Describe the three primary characteristics of sound. We hear different sounds. This is because of a difference in the fundamental characteristics of sound. The three fundamental characteristics of sound are loudness, pitch, and quality or timbre. We sometimes complain that the sound coming from a television thunder or a music system is too loud. What exactly do we mean by loud? Loudness is defined as the degree of sound produced in the ear. Listen to this sound sample. And now to this one. Which of them was louder? Let's now move on to the major factors responsible for loudness of sound. Perception of loudness depends on one's response or sensitivity of the ear for sounds of a given frequency. The next factor is the amplitude of the vibration. Consider calling out to a friend who is at a distance. Hello! Hello! The more energy you put into your voice, louder the sound would be. This is because sounds of higher amplitude carry more energy or more intensity in them and that increases the loudness of sound. Area of the vibrating body is another factor that is also responsible for the loudness of the sound generated. Let's listen to some drum beats from these drums now.
have applied the same intensity of force on their tightly stretched skins. Which of them is louder, the larger one or the smaller one? Yes, the larger one is louder. And that is because more the area of a vibrating body, louder is the sound. Loudness depends on another important factor, distance from the source. Let us consider the example of music blaring from a loudspeaker. Farther we are from the source of sound, the meeker or softer the sound seems to become. And that's the reason why we instinctively step away from a loudspeaker to a quieter corner. The next important characteristic of sound is the pitch. Let's listen to the seven notes of music. Try singing along. The pitch of the first note is the lowest, while the seventh note is the highest. Check it out again. Pitch depends on the frequency of a vibrating body. Now, watch this. Hello! Hello! Female voices tend to have a higher frequency of vibration. The pitch is therefore higher. If the pitch of a sound is flat or lower in comparison, we can say that the frequency of vibration is low. The visuals here shows some examples of low-pitched and high-pitched sounds. <coughs> We often notice that sounds produced from different sources are distinguishable. Timbre is the combination of qualities of a sound that distinguishes it from other sounds of the same pitch and volume. Timbre depends on the frequency of the sound. Most sounds have multiple frequencies and that makes them distinctly different from each other. Here are the highlights of what you just learned. <laughs>